Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. Not that we're having much trouble surviving right now. Uh, the constructors, right, we need to go to the constructors, which are out and over here, I think. Yep. Oh, that's what that big machine was up on the second floor. Okay, cool. Uh, before we start, you need to unlock the multi-tool. Open the blueprints with F3, go to tools, and select the multi-tool. Okay. All right. So, I think it's tech trees. Yeah, tech trees. So, we need to open... We need to unlock the multi-tool. Tools. Multi-tool. Unlock. Now access the cru the 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 constructors. Okay, cool. So uh, move all the ingots, promethium, and the nutrient soil into the constructor. Okay. Need to move that in as well. Oh, we still got one more ingot. That's right. Okay, there we go. We need to create at least three going plots, three block, see, three window blocks L, as well as one multi tool and one multi tool charge from the tools and weapons. Okay. So, building blocks, we need what? Window blocks, L. Okay. So, construction queue, we've got three there. Uh, we need three growing plots. We also need a multi tool. Oh, nope. Only need one multi tool, thank you. Uh, and we also need a multi-charge. Now switch the constructor on. If you want to remove the currently pr currently processing items, you need to switch the constructor off. Unfortunately, this will lead to a loss of the used components for this item. Right. So it's actually... It is actually going through and saying, okay, well, we need this piece to make this to make this, to make that. Which is actually really... Control left mouse click will... That's actually really nice. That is a really nice way of doing it. Because I'm sure there's going to be plenty... Because, yeah, it's like, okay, well, we need dirt... And then we need a frame, and we need all of this stuff to make a growing plot. And you can see with, like, the multi-tool, it's like, we need wiring, we need circuit boards, we need all of this stuff. Here, we're just going to make that steel plate, stone dust, optical, optical fiber... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well done. Now pick up the stuff that you created in... So, can I not, like... Oh, I can't. I, I guess I can't. I guess we'll put the multi-tool in number seven. Mount the bike or hover vessel, and let's head over to Damage Greenhouse. I guess we'll take the hover. You know what? No. Nope. I will take the bike, because the bike is just fun.
the bike is a whole lot more fun than... some hoverboard, some hovercraft. All right, so we need to come up here. We need to make the greenhouse airtight again. Right. Can I can can I open the the greenhouse? Yes, I can. Okay. So first open your inventory. Now move the window L blocks down to your toolbar. Close the inventory screen. Select the toolbar where you put the windows. Right mouse click for shape selector, then select vertical cool one by two. Okay. But that's not... How do we rotate it, though? Read the actions in the description at least. No, I do not want to manually come. I want to. Ah, uh, I want to actually see what. Oh, PDA log. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. So now, what was it that... Oh, okay. Exit code 777. Okay, rotate is insert and delete. All right, that's good. That's all I needed. There we go. Okay. The building is not airtight yet. We need to seal the ground as well. So wait, we just needed that one? Um, I'm pretty sure, really, there was just that one hole in the, the wall? Okay, so we need to place you guys down then. And preferably, whoa. Okay, there we go, now it's all sealed up, cool. Uh, we need to add fuel and O2 to create atmosphere. The container behind the other greenhouse should have some. Okay. Let's get some light on the subject here. There we go. Yeah. Or we could go with night vision. All right, so we want uh, biofuel. Got the biofuel, the O2 tanks. Also pick up the emergency rations, okay. 
Yeah, because we, I just realized we are like, we, we were low on food. I am too cold? You are feeling cold. Yes, thank you. All right, so small O2 tank. Fill oxygen. All right, there's the oxygen. Here's the fuel tanks. Yep, the generator. Why, why, why? Okay, let's pick up the blocks. I don't know what I can, I don't know if I can do anything to prevent, to change my small generator. Wait, is the fuel tank? Oh, the fuel tank's the one underneath that. Okay. All right, I was being dumb. Well, that's not a whole lot of power, but it's some. Why is my bike... Maybe I was supposed to grab everything from there? I don't know. It didn't tell me. It told me to grab the, the O2 tank, the inner... the... the... the fuel... And the rations, and I did. So maybe just grab everything. Okay. I already did that, guys. So I am too cold, and my... Okay, there we go. Everything's done now. Apparently it is now daytime. So we can close the automatic doors. Press Y to activate the... Ah, there we go. Now I'll bring up the control panel with P. Uh, use the slider in the general column to switch the oxygen on. Ah, there we go. Oxygen on. Now, let's remove the dead plants. Move the multi-tool into the tool bar slot and use R to reload. Right mouse button should make sure that the tool is set to disassemble and then shoot the plants to remove them. In case you accidentally remove a block, the disassemble mode will give you the block will give you back the block. Just place it again as you did with the growing plots. Tip shift left Mouse click to quickly move items. Okay. <sighs> Disassemble. Oh, right. I forgot to reload it. Ah! Whoops. Okay, so it disassembles plants quickly. Very quickly. All right, now we need to move sprouts to the free slot in your toolbox. Uh, select and put them in. Okay, but we need to also take a real quick break. So we will be back in just a little bit to play a bit more of uh, Space Farmer. Stay tuned. All right, and welcome back, everybody. So now we need to put our sprouts in all of these slots here. All right, so Boom. 
boom, boom, boom. All right, and we've got, should have one more thing of sprouts, yep. Well done. Put the rest of the sprouts and dead uh, plants, both drills or scanner, the multi-tool, multi-tool charges, as well as your old light suit, and the remaining building bricks and ingots and ore in the yellow container to make some room. Okay, so what? We're putting... Okay, so we've put everything in there. Awesome, you fixed the greenhouse. The gardener just sent access code of 8989. Grab what you need for the food processor in the station to make your cake. Okay, I wanna make sure that I actually did put like everything that I was supposed to in there. Cause I'm always, I'm very paranoid about, you know, their whole thing of, well, you, we can, uh, let's see here, press, put the multi-tool or scanner, both drills, dead plants, sprouts, drill charges, as well as your old light suit. Okay. So, yes, we should have put our multi-tool in there as well. But I am totally keeping the gun and the bike, of course. My old light suit is actually still back in the base. I didn't carry that with me. See, I'm not in... I, I don't know what moon we're on. I don't think we're... I don't know if we're on Earth's moon. Yes, he did. Eight, nine, eight, nine. All right. So we need to harvest wheat. All right, wheat, wheat, wheat. Uh, this alien sprout, seems the alien sprout survived for centuries without damage, frozen inside the alien vessel. But for the wheat, that's not enough to make, to bake two cakes. Check the fridge to see if there's more. Wait, there's a refrigerator in here? Yes, there is. Uh, wheat. I will, oh, nope. I wanna take all the wheat. There we go. Oh, empty the fridge. Never mind. just grab everything. Got everything you need? Just updated the food processor template list in the mining hub for your cakes. Thank you. Well, I have to put in the code to leave, too? All right. Let's put down our bike. I'm totally riding a bike on the moon. Or a moon, at least. Like I said, I don't know if this is like Earth's moon or what. Pick up the bike. I probably shouldn't be walking around with my gun drawn and stuff, but hey. So this one was seven, 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 seven. Need to make two anniversary cakes, so we need to load up. So yeah, we need two anniversary cakes, which we totally had enough 
We needed four, oh, four flour, but for four flour, we need four wheat. So we needed 16, 16 wheat for each cake. All right. Wait, we can make a ham, oh, veggie burger. Meat burger. There you go. That's and the pizza. All right. Yeah. Fruit pie, pumpkin cake. Uh, never been a big fan of pumpkin. Hey, Chief. Happy second anniversary. The teleport target is set to Apollo Station. Good luck and thanks for offering the helping hand. You're very welcome. So we need to use the teleporter to go back to the station. Chief Scientist of Apollo Station just called. He said they do not need any additional promethium or pentaxid for the warp drive material testing, but appreciate your efforts. Hmm. Let me guess. They left some in the scanner again. Anyway, I don't want to be called a liar when promising cake. That was very nice of you. Considering the l laboratory also sent me an urgent request for your assistance in the same message. <sighs> it's one of those days, I guess. So yeah, we went down to the, the the moon base and got all the stuff that they wanted us to, but come to find out they didn't actually need all that stuff. So we need to go to the fridge, drop cake off here. Drop single item from a stack, left mouse click the button, and use right mouse click to drop one hat one item per click or shift right mouse click to drop half the stack okay now off to the final to do's for today down to the labo laboratory I think they have a fridge for cake down there as well wait they have they have a a, a Refrigerator for a cake? Are you kidding me? All right, so we're going down Well, that's that's that was shattered glass there guys. That's that's broken glass Aha deliver the cake Hey, Chief, thanks for the cake, but can you do us a favor and deactivate the laser gate? We'll leave you a piece of the anniversary cake for your help. All right, fine. This switch? Crap, not again. That specimen radiation shield should have been fixed already. Better hurry down to level B med bay and shower it off ASAP before the radiation kills me. Okay, so now we are ra we are poisoned. Well, why why is this a thing? All right, so down to the med bay. The med bay B, yeah, med bay B. Use the shower. Check your body radiation on the top right number. To the radiation symbol. 4.5. Uh, shower off as many times as necessary until it comes down to zero. 0. 0.5. I now have zero. Yep, okay. I'm now down to zero. Do I need to look around? The tech guys seem to have installed the latest medical scanners down here. You may want to familiarize yourself with the functions for a second. Just point at them and, as usual, I'll show what they are good for in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Okay. So like this guy. What was this one for? Uh, Parasite, Stage 1, 2, and 3. 
This one will freezing, heat, stroke, radiation, sickness. And radiation poisoning. You are good for broken legs and open wounds. You are good for food poisoning and poisonous bites. You are just a... Use to increase health. Hey, Chief, while you're down there, watch out for anything unusual. We're getting strange measurements up here. We have updated Ida with the appropriate instructions to handle this in a scientific way. Okay, I'll watch out for... Whatever. So use this to... Okay, I am check medical locker, empty medical locker. All right. Maybe the tech guys left me a few medical supplies. Better take them all. You never know. So we have a small medical kit, a small O2 bottle, antidote pills, and antidote injection. So it, that'll cure alien parasite, food poisoning, poisonous bite, open wound, broken leg, food poisoning. Okay. Take them all. I'm registering energy anomalies in the whole station. We should check the engine room on level D. So can we get down to level D from here? Yes, we can. I'm registering an unknown material pattern in the container on the gal gallery. I'm not okay with this. Hey, Xeno sub substrate. Never heard of it. I have a bad feeling about this. Immediate, intermediate product used as component for processing into more complex product. See template for exact use. Okay, well, I guess we'll take it. I've informed the laboratory already. They are waiting for the specimen. We should also check the fuel tanks in the ne next to the door. I'm registering increasing energy fluctuations in that tank over there. Well, that's not good. Chief, the energetic instability destroy the core of the station. Okay, so find a spare tank. Or find a spare core. Oh, right. We need to turn on our rockets. Aha. Uh, fresh core. Orange markers on the ceiling. The anomaly has spawned an unclassified alien creature. Advice. If it does not attack you, do not provoke it. Of course, you are free to use your pistol. Should be strong enough. We need to report this to the scientists in the lab and deliver the specimen. My analysis indicates these events and the specimen are linked to what is happening here. Deactivate your jetpack as soon as gravity is restored. The symbol with three lines... Ah, okay, so the, the, the... Oh, you're an ugly little sucker. So yeah, down at the bottom, there's the helmet that tells us that our helmet is on. There's the O2, which tells us we have oxygen. And there's the, the person with three rings around him telling us there is, uh, there is, um, gravity. And now we have raw meat. Go to the lab. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Hey, chief, what are you doing down there? just lost a full sample and need to manually fix the laser gate. Our lab tech is costly. Put the specimen in the locker, please. 
All right. Through the door would be good. All right. So. Alert. Hull breach. Enemy life forms detected. Quick. Turn the right. Turn to the right. Grab a weapon from the red locker. I've never been a fan of shotguns, though. Move the shotgun to my fr to a free slot on my. I don't think we're gonna need the bike here. Attention, several aggressive creatures have just materialized on this level. Exit the inventory, shots, uh, shotgun, either number or keypad, or with the mouse wheel, left kick to shoot the weapon. Yes, thank you. Hi, guy. Always loot dead corpses as they may hold something useful. Use medical kits to heal open wounds and other injuries when you have the time to. Consider going to the med lab on level B to fix more serious injuries. Make sure your weapon is fully loaded. Use R. Do not forget to check your food bar once in a while. All right, so we've got an alien tooth and alien parts. Right. So yeah, we are on and into the uh, into learning how to make how to deal with combat. But that is gonna have to wait for another time because we're all out of time for today. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and don't forget to press the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Production. If you wanna see some crazy Here you go. all nice wow. you should meet me and my friends. Even though uh, you're kinda no messed up. Sure, sure, although this colonist died of a plasma weapons discharge, food. her tissue appears to be we infected by some kind of fungal spores. We need to find a weapon. Ooh, we Excuse me, tonight. just just keep him busy, Prince, while I go and uh I'm gonna go fiddle around. <laughs>